Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. Today I'm going to be trying another landscape, but I will be employing different techniques than the last time. I'm going to try to do a cloud pour for the sky and then probably a swipe for the water and swipes for the mountains. We'll see. Uh, for my colors today, uh, I have a boatload of custom mixed colors here. Uh, I will try my best to let you know, but uh, the important one is the satin enamel, the deco art. Uh, this is pure white, but I do believe that the soft white also works. That is going to be your cell making, uh, your cell making paint for this one. So I'm going to treat the sky like a straight pour. So what I'm going to do first, put some paint in a cup. My opaque, which will become the background. So I would want that to be a sky color. I was debating on whether I wanted sunrise, sunset, or just blue, and my boo said blue, so blue it is for my boo. So the consistency that we will have here is a very thin. When you drizzle, your paint off the stick. You want it to disappear immediately into the cup. You do not want it to form a mound. You do not want it to sink. Then that would be too thin. That is the right consistency. And in a straight pour, usually my opaque is on the bottom. And then uh, whatever my cell reactive paint is going to be. Uh, goes on top for a while. It was the Liquitex Basics Cadmium Light Hue. Y'all might remember that. Hot cell maker. But today I have all opaques happening here. So my background is this lovely blue, which is a mix of colors. <laughs> that I have already forgotten. Uh, I believe there was Brilliant Blue in there from Artist Loft and the Artist Loft Light Blue. Looks like I put a little silver in there maybe. <laughs> I went a little nuts. Okay, so here I have Silver, Artist Loft Silver mixed with some of the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, which just kind of gives it a little bit of a, a hue. These paints do tend to thicken up as they sit, so you want to check every time, even if you just checked it. I just checked it before I started. Before I started this video, but they can still thicken up on you. All right. And I'm gonna pour this in kind of heavily. I, I want this to churn a bit in the cup. Here I have Artist Loft White mixed with Satin Enamels by Deco Art. Uh, I guess that ratio would be like 25% Satin Enamel, 75% Artist Loft White, and then I just put in a touch of the Brilliant Blue. Um, actually, I'm sorry, it was the Neon Blue, the Artist Loft Neon Blue. 
just to give it a hint because I think this will attach to the white and maybe give the clouds some shadowing, a little bit of definition. Okay, sweet. So you can see that the white and that blue completely sank and the silver is sitting on top of the blue. This is good. My white's starting to pop up. I'm going to sit back there for a second and just lay down just a bit of a base coat. Okay, now my uh, satin enamel paints have completely sank, sunken. And I am going to pour now. Now I am paying attention to the weight of my paint. The weight will be where it is moving the most. And I can use that to push the paint exactly where I want it to go. I can even almost get corners when I do that. Almost right angles, not exactly. But darn toot and close. As I had hoped, some of that bluish white had a, has attached to the white, so it's not just a white white. It has a little bit of a shading effect. And this over here looks nice and soft and wispy. Probably will be more cells popping up. But I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and uh, get my next round of paints ready, and I will be back in a few. 
Okay, I'm really happy with how the sky turned out. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to maintain that with all of the other things I'm about to do. <laughs> this is gonna be water. Generally, when you're the further away the water is, uh, the darker it appears in the horizon. So, The closer, you know, if you're in the Caribbean-ish, it's more of a greenish blue. That was Artist Loft uh, metallic blue. This was an Artist Loft metallic green with some of the Artist Loft metallic cobalt mixed into it. Told you this was a lot of custom color action going on here. This is uh, this mixture with a bit of silver in it. So I lightened it up. There is no silicone in these paints. I've done it with the silicone, it looked fine. I'm trying something different. Something to keep in mind, the further away the water is, the smaller any waves that there might be will appear. And the closer they are, the more pronounced the ripples. So up close here, I'm gonna lay in a little more ripple action. I want to put in a little bit of white cap action here. So I'm just going to take some silver and just drag it through. I just want to put in some touches of this, just in some spots that I think could be accentuated, give it more of a 3D effect.
Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do now, I just have like a, uh, a bamboo skewer that I have cut and adapted so that I can do different things with it. I took this in and filed it down so it's kind of like an orange stick cuticle pusher thingy. I'm gonna try to pull in a couple of waves. So I've got the pointy end dipped in some silver. Pray for me. I'm going to use uh, the flatter end of my skewer stick thingy and I'm just going to dip it in to that brown and just kind of swipe in, dab it in.
All right, this is looking a little too orange over here. I've kind of blended the that brown with the blue a bit. So it kind of has more of a, it's further back in the distance effect. All right, so I've just taken some of that uh, brown color and I've added some black to it. I'm just going to put like a little, maybe a patch of green. One last thing that I want to do here, right around the edge of the, the rocky protuberance. It would be a little bit darker, the water, do the shadows and such. So I just kind of want to just darken that up just a little bit with the darkest blue that I'm using. I am walking away from this. I am very happy with how this turned out. And uh, I've learned from it. And I'm very much looking forward to doing this on a big, big piece. I want to do a giant, giant one of these. I will uh, bring you in for a close up. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this looks so cool on video. It looks awesome in person too. The, the metallics and the water, you know, just give it all this motion. But further back, like right there, it's like making its own white caps. And you can see like really far back there I kind of put in my own the further back you are there the further back the image is the more horizontal it's going to be it's not going to have as much motion waviness to it like some more natural looking white caps there so here's uh my handmade waves Again, no silicone. This is all just the paints reacting to each other. Oh, you can see the 
mountains there. They appear to be further away. This one appears to be closer. And you can see that blue just made a difference. Just kind of gave it a little bit of depth right there where it looks like maybe there's a channel or something. And the sky, let's not forget the sky. Oh, I'm so psyched with this piece. Pray for me that this dries perfectly. Oh, this is just so cool. Oh my goodness. I'm a happy girl right now. All right, you guys, please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, if you learned something in this video and would like to say thank you via my PayPal tip jar, you can find that link in the description box below. Also in the description box below are links to my Amazon store where the things that you see me using, most of those can be found in the Amazon store. And anything that you purchase through the Amazon store, I will make a small percentage of at no additional cost to you. Anything off the entire site, all you have to do is enter through that link. Uh, go make some art. That would be our Facebook group. Join us over there. Post your masterpieces. Ask your questions should you have any. Get some inspiration. And my website, GinaDeLuca.net, that is where you can purchase my CDs or my paintings. All right, you guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed. I am super psyched. Yay. All right, y'all. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.